The face of Texas voters is changing. They're younger, more diverse, and that puts what was a solidly Republican state in play. Democrats are spending time and money hoping that the 2020 presidential election will bring a breakthrough. The thing that we're so excited here about at the Texas Democratic Party from a national perspective is when you flip Texas, you don't take control of the White House for a term, you take control of the White House for a generation. And we think that's worth fighting for. A lot of people have been moving to Texas, a strong economy, a growing tech sector, cheaper property prices, all driving a change in the way the state looks. And that means new voters, from 14 million four years ago to more than 16 million now, an increase about the size of the entire state of Connecticut. It's estimated there's somewhere in the region of two and a half million unregistered voters in Texas. The Democratic Party is trying to track them down and give them a voice, believing if they can do that, it will fundamentally change the face of politics in Texas, and by extension, the United States. Recent protests across the country have increased calls for change in America. And the non-partisan group Move Texas, which registers people to vote, says those on the streets see a path to change through the ballot box. I think the Black Lives Matter protests have re-energized folks, brought them back into the critical importance of voting and being involved civically. I think by any metric of our organization, we are seeing increases as a direct result of those protests. Texas went for Donald Trump in the last election. Its two senators are Republican. 22 of the 36 congressional seats are filled by Republicans. Statistics, which should be a warning to overconfident Democrats. The emphasis on demographics and even energy in the Democratic Party typically underestimates the ability of Republicans in the state who are still very powerful, very well funded and very well placed to mount a counter response. You don't get to just make your play and see how it works. The most recent polls say Texas will be a tight race, but Donald Trump is still slightly ahead. But that means he has to spend time, money and effort shoring up what used to be a safe bet for the Republicans. And even that may be enough to ensure Texas wins the election, one way or another. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Austin, Texas.